Hello, hello students. My name is Elvin and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn multiples and factors part 2. Alright, so make sure you watch the video for part 1 first before you join the class for today. So I'm going to leave the link down below in the description for part 1. Let's go. Alright, we are at example 3, lowest common multiple. So they call it LCM. Right? Just remember LCM stands for lowest common multiple. So let's read question 1. Find the lowest common multiple, LCM, of 3 and of 12, okay? So first step, you want to write multiples of 3, alright? So write multiples of 3, okay? Because this is the working, you must show this. And then you're going to write multiples of 12 right below. So multiples of 12, okay? And then you're going to write the multiples, alright? Just going to write a few first. So I'm going to write 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, okay? Maybe you just want to stop over there. Now, for 12, you're just going to write a few. 12, 24, 36, 48, all right? Then you just leave it for them, all right? Now, if you can see, common means the same. So let's find the same common multiple, the first one that you see the same. So the first one is going to be 12. I can see 12 over there as well, right? So that's why you call lowest common multiple. So for the final answer, you're just going to write LCM equals to 12. So like this is very clear. You have the working and you have the final answer to show to the uh, teacher or examiner, right? So that's question one for you. All right, question two. Find the lowest common multiple LCM of 6 and 8, all right? So let's start off with the working multiples. So you have to write this, huh? cannot skip. Huh? Multiples of 6. And then you're going to write one more time multiples of 8. Okay. So after you write that 2 working over there, then you're going to write the multiples, lock, right? So I'm going to write 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. I think roughly enough. Then we're going to write the multiples of 8 now. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Okay, now just check if you can see any common multiple at this stage, alright? If you cannot find any same common multiple, then you're just going to write uh, more multiples for 6 and 8. So I, I can see that uh, 24, right? 24 is the same common multiple for 6 and of. Eight, all right, then you're just gonna lock in the final answer LCM is equals to 24. Yeah, that's it So you're just gonna write LCM and you show the final answer for question 2 Right, let's do question 3 right now find the lowest common multiple of 12 15 and 20 All right, what wow, three numbers like very hard to do. Okay, don't panic So you just like do like normal make sure you write multiples of 12 15 and 20 because if I see student write like this huh? 12, 15, and then you try to write the multiples. No, no, because you never mention what are the things of 12. It can be factor, it can be multiple. So make sure don't be lazy. Just write the multiples of 12, 15, and 20, okay? So make sure to do the writing of the English words. Right, so write multiples of... Okay, so I'm going to write 12 first, and then followed by the other two, ah. Uh. Okay, so make sure you show this one, multiple of 15 and multiples of 20. Okay, now after that only write the multiples, okay? So let's start, 12, 24, if you find it difficult, if you can use calculator, just go ahead, okay? Just use calculator, 36, 48, 60. 72 and the number goes on just leave it for a while at the moment now let's do 15 so 15 30 45 60 75 i think you can leave it for a moment now let's go towards the other one 20 40 60 80 and finally 100 now have a closer look do we have a common multiple already let's check so I can see that all three of them shared 60 as the common multiple. Lah. So I'm going to draw the circle 60. Now, the moment you find a common multiple, lock in the final answer. LCM is equals to 60. There you have it. 
let's look at example four right now highest common factor or they call it hcf all right so let's read the question find the highest common factor of 8 and 24 that's first question so again now like multiples now you're just going to write factors of 18 and factors of 24 let's go so factors of 18 then you write the other one first factors of 24 okay now factors means number that you can divide it by right so what do i mean 18 can be divided by 1 can also be divided by 18 okay 18 can also be divided by 2 and then 9 now if you watch part 1 of the video this is the way to check 2 times 9 gonna get you 18 and then 1 times 18 gonna get you 18 so you just do pair by pair all right next one 3 and 6 okay now you can check 18 cannot be divided by 4 cannot be divided by 5 and then you know 6 is one of the factors all right so now let's do the other one 24 so 24 can be divided by 1 and then 24 so 24 can be divided by 2 and 12 all right so this is the way i check pair by pair all right now 24 can be divided by 3 and 8 and then one more time ah uh, check ah uh, 24 can be divided by 4 and then 6. Notice that the number are aging towards each other. That's how you check whether you got leave out any numbers or not. So I just need to check between 4 and 6. Just going to check 5 and I don't think 24 can be divided by 5. Right? Now, I know it's a bit, you know, sometimes you can see some spaces in between. You can always use a pen and, you know, do a correction tape or pencil to do the initial checking. Now, from there right after we have done this just check what is the highest common factor highest same factor let's find so i think i'm looking at six over here right nine i don't see factors of nine for 24 18 i don't think there's 18 for factors of 24 so it's definitely just six all right so from there just log in your final answer hcf is six all right there you go so that's the answer for first question okay now let's move on to the second question find the highest common factor hcf of 3 and 17 so one more time just gonna write the factors of 3 this one cannot be lazy ah must write okay and then factors of uh, 17 right okay after that only write the factors so 3 can be divided by 1 and 3 only, lah, right? Then look for 17. Factors of 17 is uh, 1. And then I think it's just 17 because 17 is a prime number, right? Now, from here, right, just find the same common factor, which is the same, and then find the highest one if they are, right? So I can see only 1, right? So it doesn't matter. Just log in the final answer. Highest common factor, HCF is one that's it so that's the answer for question two now let's move on to the third one ah. find the highest common factor of hcf of 8 10 and 15 wow three more things don't panic just do like normal all right so just write factors of eight okay and then write factors of 10 and then one more time factors of 15 okay now from there just work on the factors now so let's do 8 first huh? so factors of 8 8 can be divided by 1 and 8 okay then 2 also can right so 8 divided by 2 and 4 lo, right any more number can divide by 3 cannot four already mentioned over there right so you may want to write nicely so let me do that write four and then write eight so you can do that with a pencil okay now let's do factors of ten factors of ten one and ten and then two and five right two and five that's it now let's do the last one factors of fifteen so one and fifteen and then three and five that's it the numbers already edge closer to each other all right so that's how you check now is there any number that is shared among all three eight ten and fifteen any factors 
so i am looking at most of them just two factors same among each other all right so only one is shared among all these three if you check uh, here got two here got two but here don't have two so you can't say factors of two is the highest common factor for five here got five here got five but the top part doesn't have five so that's how you see they must share between all the three factors uh. so now let's log in our final answer hcf equals to one right there you go so that's the answer for highest common factor for question three Alright, so if you enjoyed today's lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, and I will answer your comment, alright? So see you in the next class. Bye!